We're in the battery container, changing out the batteries that I destroyed on the way up here to Maryland. And I went this morning to Napa and got some new batteries. These are not like my old ones in a couple ways. They are not maintenance free, which means there's water inside the new batteries. And I need to stay on top of that, but they have more cold cranking power, which means they send a little more zap to the starter upon ignition. I'm just gonna turn off my emergency switch, get uh, taken off the clamps on the posts, and then I'm gonna hang out with the alternator and see if we can figure out the issue. I'm John, this is Danny, and this is our home, Taterbug. There are many rewards and challenges that full-time RV life has to offer. Oh my especially with this little guy. Meet Abraham. Olay. So subscribe and come along for just a tiny snip of our family's life as we enjoy the trip. All right, so I just brought in Mag Dog Mike, my stepdad, to give it a look over. The alternator's right there, and there's a lot of tension on it already. So it looks like we're not gonna be able to do all that today. I'm gonna have to jump Tater one more time to get us to Frontier Town. It's only like an hour away. And then I'll learn how to take the alternator off there and take it in and get him to test it at whatever store we pick. So I guess we're gonna wrap this up and hang out with my brother on his boat today. Weather switched and it's nice now, and we're gonna go to dinner as a family at a place called Fishtails. How are you feeling today, baby? Uh, same as your mom. How are you feeling today, mom? Um, we were up howling at the moon last night. We both were, and we're like, let's go on the boat. The weather's gotten so much better, and you guys were like, we thought we were getting pizza. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't wanna. I was in the middle of watching this movie. I don't wanna bully you guys. I just think in a couple minutes you can be happy we're out here. the end of our time here in Joel's parking lot for now. We're gonna leave my brothers in the next 20 minutes and we're gonna head just down the road to a campground called Frontier Town. We got a lot of laundry done here. It's really good to mooch dock at a family member's house, especially after being out on the road where there's nobody that really cares about you on the level that your family cares about you. You can just feel the comfort and safety and you know, breakdowns don't feel so scary when you know you got your whole support system right next door. Start tater up, something's something's wrong. So I don't know. It's he's leaking a bunch of fluent coolant fluid right now. We got a coolant leak. We got cheated. Yesterday when we were looking at our alternator, we moved a rubber hose over next to it, and that rubber hose connected to the hot manifold. Now that's the hose that has a hole in it. But you'd think they wouldn't design. Such an important cooling hose next to such a hot piece of metal, but. Welcome to Frontier Town RV Resort. This is one of those parks that is definitely more focused on catering towards the hordes of families on beach vacation. We are in Ocean City, Maryland anyway, and their primary export is sunburnt tourists. Based off just driving by this place with the water slides and the massive cowboy statue, it's easy to see how this place gets the brush off by serious campers in the area. However, in the off season, all the way in the back of the park, you can actually get a pretty nice spot in the marsh for cheap. Far away from all the arcade lights and long before the hordes of people show up for the summer.
lots of open space beautiful marsh sunsets along with all of the creatures that come with that setting tall atlantic pines blowing in the breeze sign us up Abraham, hey, i think this is turtle. i think this is a diamondback or a maryland terrapin which is our state animal let me see your hand like this like this Careful, channel. <gasps> Good boy. What? <gasps> Careful, right? That way. Very nice. Good animal handler. <laughs> Babe, did you see that? Very gentle. Steve Irwin. Day three of Frontier Channel. Wait, this is actually our second morning yeah. waking up here. So day two. Day two. It's going to be 82 degrees today. I'm getting hungry, hippo. You getting hungry, baby? Yeah, babe. Let me stop goofing off with the camera and get the cooking. What's my guy doing? We go to the water slides later. So fun fact about staying at Frontier Town, you get free access while you stay here to everything that they have, like pretty their water park, the slides, the lazy river, baby turtles. Baby turtles. Big boys hunger. Don't we love it when daddy cooks for us? Mm. So we're about to head into Ocean City to Sunfest, which is a big festival of vendors and music and food. And my mom, she set up a tent there for the past, I don't know how many years. That's kind of what she does is she goes around and she sells nautical jewelry. It's custom made by her, her husband, Mike, and some of my dad's original pieces that he made way back in the day. Yeah, so they do this in Maryland and Florida and we're getting ready to transition into helping them out part-time with this so we're just gonna go in today and kind of get the idea for how it's gonna go danny's really excited about jumping in the jewelry business i think she likes jewelry as it is so yes. Alright guys, it's our first day clocking in here. Wish us luck. We're a little nervous. This is Laramore. It's from the Dominican It's my first piece I sold. Don't sugar, why you look so sad? Come on now, mama. Ain't nothing here so bad. You got fast cars, movie stars, party on down the street. We're Mary Jane, good cocaine. Father, you little Doug. How long have you been doing this, Doug? Uh, probably about six years now. Yeah, you like it? Love it. We get the oil heated up. A big cup full of sugar.
feels good, man. Good job, babe. That's the spot. Careful. We had some breakfast after yoga, but Danielle already ate. She was gone getting her eyelashes done. Babe, can we see your eyelashes? Can I get a little closer? Oh, wait, hold on. Sorry, this is really small. There we go. Much better. Let me see. Come on, give me the camera if you want. Wow. And how long are these supposed to last? Three weeks. Three weeks. And I was asking, do they get in the way of your vision? Like, can you see your eyelashes while you're looking? I can see. Out into the world? Normal. You don't see your eyelashes? I don't think so. No. <laughs> There's a special feeling you get when you come back to a place where you were raised. For John and I, that's here. The good old Eastern Shore, Maryland. Hope you all enjoyed this episode and all the other stories we get to share with you through our videos. And there's plenty more to come as our adventures throughout this summer definitely took a few unexpected turns. But for now, we'll see you next time as we enjoy the very end of our off season here at Frontier Town. Thanks for watching.